Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry for the wind. We're starting a new placement. So I'm on Papworth Cardiology and Respiratory for one week. So if you don't know, Papworth is one of the quaternary centers. So it's quite specialized. We do quite a lot of these heart and lung transplants. So looks like it'll be a fun week. Um, it's a completely different hospital, even though it's right next to the same, like right next to Adam Brooks. But I think it'll be quite busy. Right guys, this is later this evening. Sorry for the lack of filming today. It was quite busy. We had an introduction which was pretty full on. Then we had an interesting session where we had an introduction to ultrasound. So we get to like use the ultrasound machines, scan each other, look at the heart, the lungs, and also go over some important pathologies like pleural effusions and cardiac tamponade, you can see. Then we had simulation training. So this is where you're given like a scenario and then you have to do it on this like high fidelity mannequin. So they can control this mannequin so it can like cough and blink and it can like talk through to speakers. And you can also feel its pulses, listen with a stethoscope and you can hear breath sounds. It's really fun. And then you go into the scenario and you need to like introduce yourself and explain kind of what your approach would be to that simulated patient. few shopping tips for you first of all always look on for the best price because some like this bread i always get it's only 45p whereas tesco own brand is actually i think 75p or 80 pence for the same like loaf of bread so be careful you don't get caught out there and another thing is to always see um how much something is worth per like unit mass um because sometimes if you buy a slightly bigger pack um, you can get it for cheaper than if it's like individually wrapped. Hi guys, it's um, Tuesday. It's first full like clinical day in Papworth, I guess. Did a few things, so I stayed in cath labs in the morning. So this is where they use a catheter. It goes into the artery. <laughs> That's my friend Anika in the back. Um, and they can use that to access the heart and then put stents in and observe for any blockages. So that was pretty cool. You also saw a patient who came in kind of in an emergency situation after a heart attack. Then I had to do a fit test, which is a bit annoying. Um, it's where you have to put this like tight fitting mask and then they put different um, smells, which basically, basically it's for aerosol producing procedures to make sure you're, you're safe. Um, and then I had a teaching session on infective endocarditis. Oh, and there was also a meeting with like Christians in the hospital and um, for lunch, so that was cool. I got grilled on my coronary artery anatomy by the cardiologist. I also ate in the canteen loads because Papworth gives staff a 50% discount. The problem with these revolving it's doors down, yeah. it's down, yeah. is that uh, it keeps, it's really hard to get out. Right guys, just some reflections. Let me take that off. Uh, yeah, um, just got absolutely drenched. Usually cycling is a good thing in Cambridge because you can go quite a lot faster than the cars and the traffic. But on days like this, you have to think again. Uh, 11 hour day, absolutely exhausted. I think tomorrow again, I need to be in by like 7.45 for surgery or whatever. So I'm gonna dry off and put this all behind me. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, my surgery this morning was canceled. So I've just been messing around for like the last 20 minutes um, around all the nice buildings around Papworth because everything here is like quite modern. Yeah, it's quite common for surgeries to get cancelled because a lot of them require on intensive care beds afterwards because you're messing around with like the heart and the lungs and I guess there's just not enough beds at the moment. So yeah, um, enjoying the pond as you can see in the background too. After narrowly avoiding drowning in the pond, I walked around the Papworth site. This is the Heart and Lung Research Institute where we had lots of teaching and seminars. Papworth is a lot fancier than Adam Brooks. I had some interesting things on display around the hospital. Lift A. This was on the biomedical campus and these tents are not actually being used. It's supposed to be some form of art. Anyway, after all this, I went to the library to do some work. Hi guys, it's me again. I've got a mannequin friend. I feel like I'm in the prac skills lab too much these days, but I have a mini assessment or just a sign off session tomorrow. So I've been practicing like making drips and other drug administration. Um, that sounds a bit dodgy. Um, I, 
Today, I had a clinic in the afternoon, an advanced heart failure clinic. So these are people with quite severe disease and they're considering heart transplants. So that was interesting. And now I've just come over here and then I've got a meeting after this. So it's another long day at the office. We also had a careers fair. This is me trying to take a biopsy of a grape under ultrasound guidance. And this is a geriatric simulation suit, which is supposed to mimic what it's like to be old and have comorbidities like back pain and poor vision. And the rest of the week was also pretty busy. We had to do some case presentations. So I presented a case which I'd seen at the heart failure clinic. I also attended the bronchoscopy clinic. So bronchoscopy is where they put a camera down the airways um, and it's useful, for example, if you've seen something suspicious on a scan, you can check whether a lesion is cancerous or not by taking a sample of it. And yeah, there was like a small incident because the consultant kind of had a go at me. He said like, I don't go in enough and I need to like learn more um, in the clinics and on the wards. And he picked up on that. I looked really confused and a bit lost. And this was because I didn't know what PPE to wear because this is the first time I'd been in bronchoscopy. So you need to wear some like some extra gowns or like masks for bronchoscopy because it's an aerosol generating procedure. But I was not sure why he was like having a go at me because this is the first time I'd ever been to bronchoscopy. So how was I expected to know? I mean, later on, he, he was actually, you know, kind of Loki apologized and, and said, I probably do go in enough. But he was basically, I think the point he was trying to make that I need to come across confident, even though if I don't know what I'm doing, I guess the lesson is fake it till you make it. So that's something I'm trying to work on more and more because I do think perceptions matter when you're in a professional patient facing role, like being a doctor. That's pretty much all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.